Wing Chun versus boxing. This is a very big topic that a lot of people talk about. So let's discuss about Wing Chun versus boxing. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, accelerated Wing Chun system quick start DVD, normally retailing for 129 bucks. But enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video. So good luck. So I got my friend here, Will. He's done boxing, he's training Wing Chun now. So tell us what your experience is. Um, I find with boxing, if I was to get into a conflict with someone, it can go a lot longer than I would like. So if my wind isn't where it needs to be, a uh, person is a lot tougher or whatever, or has, uh, has some experience, then uh, yeah, it could be a nice long fight and uh, it's not something I want to deal with. Mm -hmm. So how about Wing Chun? Uh, Wing Chun is basically I can end it quick. I can go in as soon as uh, as soon as it starts up. You literally already have it in your mind what you're going to do. So you're there's only a couple different things most most people will do when they come into a fight. And uh, for everything with Wing Chun is designed to basically end the fight right away. So uh, you can not only walk away, but you'll walk away and still have a lot of wind and you know yeah and that's good that's good because in the street fight most of the time now you're going to be facing more than one person right two or three people so exactly. if you're so if you're going to be you know sparring it out with one guy you know using all that stamina think about sparring with two or three guys that have three times more stamina right exactly like, you're not superman right yeah how can you do that so so in wing chun what you're saying is that uh you know, it's designed to finish the fight and end it quickly as fast as possible. So, because you may be fighting more than one guy, and most likely you are, because these days people who don't have honor, they don't fight one on one anymore. They bring yeah. their friends. They're not, you know, they're only tough when they're with their friends. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but there's some advantages to boxing. I don't want to like uh, trash boxing. I love boxing, and um, the, the good thing about boxing is that you go to any main boxing gym, you know, they don't complain, right? People are there to to fight and they're there to learn how to punch and they don't care about getting hit right I find that a lot of martial arts classes in um, people are just scared of getting hit yeah right and they don't train to you know against people who are actually trying to hit you yeah so what do you think about that no definitely um, with boxing like still even though I'm doing Wing Chun like I love boxing the science behind it it's I mean it, it, you can almost kind of throw it in the martial arts sense because there's a science behind it and uh, taking that and adding on to that knowledge with the Wing Chun um, I find it's kind of easy to start adapting the only difference is the fact that uh, you're a lot more tense when you're a boxer versus Wing Chun which is more fluid and loose so uh, yeah, like uh, as far as the as far as taking the hits and things like that, yeah, I feel I can deal with a little bit more than uh, other people. You know, basically because I've been hit <laughs> hard a few times. So uh, yeah, I come in with the with the mind state of expecting to get hit to hurt. So mm -hmm. yeah, so I think the benefit of of training in boxing is you have people that are actually trying to hit you. You know, even if it's a big glove, you can feel the impact. Oh yeah, right. Definitely. And and you, so like if your stuff doesn't work, then it's proven it doesn't work, right? Because in Wing Chun, okay, hmm, hmm, they do this. Yeah. They don't hit each other, right? Just hit the air and stop their punches, and say, yeah, I just hit you like that. And if you train like that, you expect you expect that the fight to end up like that. Um, one of my combative teacher, combative uh, trainers, told me, and he's been teaching the SWAT team. Uh, people he's been teaching special forces he's he's been in the military you know he's trained trained the military and such and he says that um, the way you train is the way you fight okay because if you program yourself those uh, reflexes in your muscles and you program to do this stop your punch in front of the target then chances are when you're getting the fight you're just gonna do that you're gonna stick a punch the air so 
that's something that you need to adjust if your training is um, lacking in that area, right? But in boxing, it's good because you, you actually get punched, right? You, you put it on the gear and um, maybe, you know, you can say, uh, you know, we're just gonna do 50% power, right? But still, you're gonna feel uh, what it feels like to get hit. Yeah, and you need to feel that. You yeah. need to feel that to understand. Not only to understand if you can take the punch, but to learn how to not take the punch, to learn how to dodge it, to learn how to, whether it's parry, like whatever you're doing, but you need to actually get hit first to learn how to avoid getting hit. Yeah. So. Yeah, you gotta appreciate, you know, how the self-defense technique works um, when you get hit. You know, you have to know how it doesn't work in order to know how it works. Yeah. Right. So I think that's the benefit of learning how to, um, you know, if you don't have a weight training class, you know, why not go to a boxing class and learn something from that too? Why not go to a Muay Thai kickboxing class and learn something from that too? I think we can all learn something from everything. Yeah. Right? 100%. Yeah. So I'm not the guy, kind of guy that says, oh, Wing Chun is the best martial arts in the world. You know, I really love it. And um, I don't think any martial art is the best martial art in the world. I think that um, the martial art that's best for you is the best martial arts for you, exactly. right? So you gotta find, you gotta do some research and it takes a t time. I mean, I've been training for 10 years and then I'm always learning new things from other people, yeah. from different styles. So the guy who, who says, okay, what's better, Wing Chun or boxing? Well, you, you have to think about, okay, the person who asked that, their intelligence level is, is, is not the highest because you're just thinking, which one's better, right? A person with a higher intelligence would, would, would say, okay, Wing Chun versus boxing, what can I learn from each one? And how can it, what can I take from each one and adapt it to my own? And or use who's it? the user? Like, you have somebody who's an amateur Wing Chun practitioner versus a professional boxer. That professional boxer is going to really look great going against somebody who only knows Wing Chun a little bit. So you have to look at the, the person, you know, what their knowledge is of whatever art it is that they're doing. Yeah. And the thing with, with Wing Chun students, right? Most of them are training, most Wing Chun people are training twice a week. That's it. What do boxers, you know, you know, even amateur boxers, you don't even have a professional or even hobbyist boxers, what do they do? They train almost every day. Yeah. Right? Um, in the morning, they're jogging. In the morning, they're doing their uh, their stamina training, right? Yeah. They're, they're they're doing weight training, right? And then and then Wing Chun guys, what do they do? Most of the time, they just go and go to classes a couple of hours a week, and then they do chi sao and stick hands like this, right, for two hours, or just do the forearm for two hours. Um, that's all the training they do. So you compare someone who's trains for 10, 20, 30 hours a week in boxing and compare someone who trains in Wing Chun for four hours a week, right? Yeah. Do that for a year or two. Yeah. Doesn't matter if the technique, it's not about technique anymore, you see? Yeah. It's not about style anymore, it's just about training. Yeah. And how much you do it. But you probably say, okay, what if the guy who trained Wing Chun, uh, you, you tell me, what do you think about a guy who would train Wing Chun 10, 20, 30 hours a week, or 40 hours a week, against a boxer who trained four hours a week? Who do you think after a year, who do you think is going to be better? Who do you think is going to be a better fighter? Who do you think is going to win a fighting match if that's going to happen, right? You tell me, right? Do you think it's going to be a Wing Chun guy or a boxer? And um, what do you think? So I want to hear your comments about what do you think about uh, Wing Chun versus boxing or any other martial arts for that matter. Yeah. And uh, make your comments in the comment section. Tell us what you think. Tell us what is your feedback. And then we'll see you soon.